day everyone and welcome to the daily news of Remo TV. I am Rita Folari, the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Uche Secondos. As expressed sadness that Nigeria has become a nation whose citizens are without a government. The opposition leader said this at the media briefing at the party's national secretariat Abuja on Friday. At the press briefing tagged, and I quote, Nigeria a free fall as corruption, insecurity engulfs her nation. The PDB chairman said it was now evident that the Buhari government has run out of propaganda with regards to the worsening security situation in Nigeria. The national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Uche Sekondos, has asked the president, Muhammad Buhari, to resign should he continue to fail to proffer solutions to the growing insecurity in the country. The opposition leader said this at a media briefing at the party's national secretariat, Abuja, on Friday. On the international scene, the United States accused Russia of test firing an anti satellite weapon in space. Warning that the threat against Washington's system was real, serious, and increasing. U.S. Space Command said it has evidence that Moscow conducted a non destructive test of a space based anti satellite weapon on July 15. Last week's test is another example that the threats to U.S. and allied space systems are real, serious, and increasing. The Thursday statement continued. On sport, the home of Liverpool midfielder Fabinho was boggled on Wednesday night as he celebrated the club's Premier League title win. The Brazilian midfielder's home is believed to have been targeted while it was empty, with the break-in understood to have taken place between 3 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon and 4 a.m. on Thursday morning. Police said a number of jewellery items were stolen in the form big burglary while a grey Audi RS6 was also taken and later discovered and recovered in the Wigan area. On entertainment, social media influencer Ade Damola Adewale, popularly known as Ade herself, who was arrested alongside four others by the EFCC on the 6th of June for internet fraud has been released. Ade herself must have met her bail condition to have been released following last night's IG Live via her mom's Instagram where she was seen. Recall that on Wednesday, July 15th, she was granted 500,000 bail by an Ikeja Special Offenses Court in which she was ordered to provide two shorties with reliable means of income, which would be verified by the court. Justice Sherifat Solebo adjourned the case until August 5 for substantive hearing. And that's it for the Daily News on Remo TV. Join us tomorrow for the weekly news. You can check our social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Official Remote TV. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Rita Folari. Bye for now.